In this series, we'll talk a little bit about ring modulation of acoustic sources. As Strange writes, the fact that there is maximum carrier rejection makes the ring modulator an ideal device for transformation of acoustic sounds. Here we see how simple this patch can be. An instrument is amplified and sent to one input of a ring modulator, while another audio source, in this case a sine wave, is sent to the carrier input. We can simplify further by using the morphogene and some pre-recorded audio files. The output spectrum contains the sum and difference of the sine wave frequency with every frequency in the acoustic sound. Therefore, using sine waves is the best way to hear the effects, while more complex waves will lead to more complex results. You can hear the effect changing as we sweep the frequency of the oscillator. Technically, these upward and downward slides are upper and lower sidebands changing positions. Let's modulate the pitch of the oscillator as this melody progresses. I've set each note or beat to correspond to a splice on the morphogene. At the end of splice, we'll advance the sequencer and also shift on to the next splice. Strange uses an envelope detector for this patch because he didn't have a morphogene. The sequencer is controlling the oscillator's pitch. is eight splices and we have an eight step sequence thus the results are repeatable but I'm going to add one additional step to the sequence on the access page and now the two loops are going out of phase with each other on each iteration they will take eight times nine or 72 steps to repeat This sequence is the same series of notes as in the piano loop. Different harmonic relationships will result in different sounds. Another fun way to control the carrier oscillator's pitch is using the output amplitude of the acoustic source that is being modulated. As Strange calls it, correlation of instrument dynamics and program frequency. Louder attacks create higher frequency modulations. This requires an envelope follower. See our video on using maths as an envelope follower if you have one, but we will simply use the CV output of the morphogene and patch it to the Expo CV input of the oscillator. Strange also suggests using a quantizer to change Glissando Wing's sidebands into discrete stepped spectra. I'm using Rene for this, taking the morphogene's CV output and using it to address the Rene, with its location set to a simple ascending pattern. See the video, Rene is nonlinear quantizer for a detailed explanation of this patch. 